Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on the Navigator software. And today's topic, I think it's very interesting. It will be very interesting and important because we will discuss or we will talk about assisted history matching, all right? A feature in the Navigator, all right, in this, in this software. So yeah, we will just, I will just, explain about the the model so we are currently looking at the pressure map the pressure 3d model of the pressure you can see we have several producers there you can also move the time slider and you can see the change of color which usually indicate the change of well status you can also go to two dimensional map and in initial, so block size X, Y, Z, the depth, and the net to gross only single value. Porosity, all right. So it's it's artificial, it's synthetic model. That's why you can see the the look of the porosity distribution like this. And for the permeability per volume, all right? And then for the calculated parameters, pressure, saturation of oil, relative permeability, and so on and so forth. And another thing that is important and relevant in this video is the regions. So here we have several region, I mean reg regioning, regioning system. So first by PVT, we don't have any spatial or categorization of each region we only have one okay it means that we we have one pvt for the entire reservoir and what about saturation the same one Row compaction equilibration active grid but i think it's the most important thing is the fipnum so we have four fipnum so fipnum is fluid in place number but basically it's uh, regionization so maybe you want to do history matching you want to adjust parameters and to do that you first need to localize or specify each region like this so you have freedom if you want to do adjustment in just a specific area like maybe this light blue all right with the highest uncertainty maybe you think so you make this as a another a different region all right from this purple region so that's basically the motivation behind the the making of the fipnum but of course you can have another motive why you make a fipnum maybe because there's a clear barrier between this area and that area all right, maybe, maybe you can do that, okay? But for history matching, using regionization like this gives us flexibility if we want to do the adjustment only at a specific region rather than the other regions, okay? So, yep, remember this one because later we will use this Fipnum region. Okay. And we need to go to fluid properties. Here we have RP or relative permeability, water, oil, gas. And we have the data in the form of tables. Okay, so the data like this is rigid. If you want to do history matching, if you want to do adjustment, the, the data in this form is not flexible. In, in history matching, in adjustment, you need to change the, the value of the parameter or the, or the variable. So in order to make relative permeability a variable, you need to convert this table into another form okay 
another form that is more useful and more practical to be used for adjustment or history matching. And maybe you already can predict what where I am where I am heading to. Okay, I am I'm talking about Cori parameter. So first I'm going to convert this rigid form of data into a more flexible form of information, which is a correlation, a parameter that is used in correlation, in this case, Cori parameter. And we can do that by going to project and then go to additional options and approximate RP. Yeah, basically we want to convert by do the approximation. We approximate the real data into a correlation, okay? And the correlation has parameters like the endpoint and the curvature, okay? So let's do that. Approximate RP convert to Cori correlations like this, okay? So you have the original data in tables after the, so before conversion, we, we want to approximate using Cori correlations. And based on the navigator computation, this is the recommended value, all right? Like the uh, minimal water saturation, 0 0.2, and then the NW degree at water relative permeability, it's 3.9, and for the NG, degree at KRG is 4.4, okay? So, yep, this in this form, it is more practical, it is more doable for the T-Navigator to do the history matching. So, let's go. Sorry, it's resolution issue. I cannot find this button, but it's still lookable. So, I will click on that. All right, model must be reloaded after relative permeability is unconverted. So if you want to continue, press this button, continue and reload. We need to reload because relative permeability is actually an initial parameter, okay? Basically, normally it's not something that we can adjust easily. So if you want to change the relative permeability, better you do that before anything started, okay? So that's why we need to go back, we need to reload. Okay, so, and so I will do that. All right, so let's press the reload button. Okay, 